Hello and welcome back. On today's episode, I'm going to be talking all about how to keep yourself organized with your podcast. So you have all these ideas, you want to have all these guests on there, but where do you put them all? How do you keep everything organized, all the files that you need, and all the things? So a little fun fact, I love to organize. I love an organized system and creating one. My whole life is organized by my Google Calendar. So I just love organizing. My family, not so much, and they get annoyed with my organizing. But you know what? I know where everything is and I can find everything. So it makes me happy. So I'm going to let you in on my uh, tips on how I keep my podcast organized and my client's podcast organized. So number one. Google Drive or Dropbox. Now, I prefer Google Drive, but either one will work in this case. I do use Dropbox for a few of my clients, but I prefer Google Drive. But the point is that you need to have a place to store your audio files, your graphics, your show notes, everything in one folder so that you know where to find all the assets to that episode. So create a folder for each episode so you know exactly where to find everything. You can keep everything in there. And then when you're looking around for something, you know exactly what folder to go to to find it. Now I label my folders with the episode number and the episode title. That way it will keep it a little more organized and I can just go straight in there and find what I need. The second system I use is Trello. I love Trello. I use Trello for everything. My bills, my uh, like not my bills, but like my budget. I have my budget and all the bills I need to pay in there. Um, I use it for my content, for social media. I use it for everything. So for my podcast, I use it to keep track of what episodes come out next. And I have a checklist to make sure that everything that needs to get done for each episode gets done. So like editing, writing show notes, creating audiograms or social media posts, all the things. I make sure I have a checklist to make sure that every single thing gets done. And I store all my ideas in Trello too. So I have a, um, so in Trello, they're called boards and cards. So you create a board and that's your main topic. And then you have cards underneath. So I just have a board called ideas and I create cards for each different uh, topic that I want to talk about on my podcast eventually. So this keeps them all organized, all in a system. So it's like the best thing ever. And I've actually created a Trello board for each of my clients and I use it to help. Even if they don't look at it, I use it to help myself keep stay on track to know exactly what needs to be done. So if you are interested in a Trello board, I have a template that I sell for $19 that will help you stay organized and get everything set up for your podcast. So if you're interested in that, um, go to the show notes and the link will be in there for you to get that. And the third way I stay organized with my podcast is templates. Creating templates saves you so much time and it keeps everything consistent and looking the same, especially your show notes. I create show note templates for all my clients and then I just copy and paste and I, I rewrite obviously for each episode there's different things, but for the most part, the layout of it is the same. So I have a template for that. I have a template for my client's graphics so that I can mostly just switch out the picture or the name of the episode. This way I only have to change a few things and I'm done. I'm not recreating it every single time and it saves so much time and so much brain power. So those are the three main ways that I stay organized with my podcast. I would love to hear how you stay organized. Uh, go to the show notes. You can click on the link to see more show notes and go to my website and then you can leave a comment right there on my website so let me know what your favorite way to stay organized is with your podcast do you prefer google drive or dropbox um i know some people like click up and if you have a team click up is amazing it's like a organized tool like trello but uh, more for a team wise. I use that with a few of my clients too. But if you want any suggestions, need help setting up an organized system, reach out to me. I absolutely love doing that. And yeah, I would love to help you out with that. And if you've been looking to start your podcast, then reach out. I am taking one more launch client in December for to start your podcast. <laughs> 
So if you're ready to start your podcast, you want it out in 2022, reach out to me. Let's talk about how we can start it, what your budget is. We can arrange things for your budget and get your podcast and your message out to the world. Because that's the most important part is getting your message out to people who need to hear it. So reach out to me and I will see you on the next episode.